Hello all, my name is Krishnak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to discuss a 12 days plan to learn Python for data analyst and data science. Now, remember guys, usually people take a lot of time for learning because they don't have appropriate content with them. They don't have a proper plan structure in their mind or they don't have a proper structure and they also don't know like what exactly to learn. So in this particular video, and this was also requested by one of my subscribers who was saying that Krish, I have just completed my college and I really want to learn data science and I'm actually free for one or two months. Just tell me quickly that how I can learn data science. And for that, initially you really need to learn Python programming language. So here I've actually created your efficient 12 days plan with all the content and the materials for you all so that you can actually refer it and actually learn it. So let's go ahead and try to discuss the 12 days plan to learn Python for data analyst and data science. Now, the first step is you really need to remember a few points. That is, if you are planning for this 12 days plan, you know, please make sure that you devote three to four product, three to four productive hours daily. Okay. And this is very much important. Guys. It's not like you just have to devote only one or two hours three to four productive hours and it may not be continuous like you can get up early in the morning like 6 a.m and finish it till 8 a.m and then in the evening probably 6 to 8 that is also a very good plan and that is how i also initially started morning time is very much important so in the morning time what i used to do is that i used to study a lot you know and in the evening time i used to practice a lot so in this particular way you need to divide your time slots then be energetic while learning so that is the reason why i've set up the morning time like from 6 a.m to 8 a.m that time your mind will be fresh okay keep your mind free this is very much important guys you should not be thinking about 10 different things while you're learning because that will not be counted as a productive hours right and then you need to really come up with two hours of studying plus two hours of practice you know practice is also required so i told you for morning 6 a.m to 8 a.m study and from uh, evenings 2 a.m uh, sorry 6 a.m 6 p.m to 8 p.m practice more and more okay practice more and more and when you are studying that time also you can practice when i say practice you're taking a new problem statement you're practicing by with the help of python itself now uh, here i've actually divided into part four different parts so this is the part one part one is basically start with jupyter notebook learn the basic syntax and when you are learning this, I have noted down some of the topics that you really need to learn, like basic arithmetic operations, control and conditional structures, loopings, for, while loops, if condition, if else conditions, you know, user input, how to give a user input. Then you have strings, you have integers, floating values, type casting. So these are the common things that you really need to learn when you're starting with Python. And here you really need to devote only two, two days. When I say two days, that basically means two hours, two hours. Always remember like that. If you are changing your timing pattern at least, then the number of days may increase. And uh, this is important. Just go in the same structure. In the same structure also, I've created all my videos. I'll also show you that uh, Python playlist at the last. So in this same way, you can actually go ahead. And again, remember guys, please follow that two plus two four productive three to four pro hours productive some people can just go with three because they may be from uh, programming background they'll be able to quickly cover it then uh, this entire plan why i'm saying it for four specifically for non-programming people you know if you are able to devote that much you'll be able to learn it now this is basically the part one here you just have to devote two days okay and then coming to the next part here this particular part i have given is that three days here you really need to focus on inbuilt data structures. Now in Python you have a lot of inbuilt data structures like list. You have lo uh, you have list strings, boolean variables. You have Python sets, dictionaries, tuples, functions in Python. So till tuples, I think tuples, dictionary set, list. These are some of the important data structures which you will be commonly using. As we go ahead, as you come up with new new libraries, there also you really need to learn with new data structures like data frames. Uh, like series like arrays and all also will be there then apart from this you also have to need to learn about functions in python so you really need to learn functions in python you need to learn lambda functions you need to learn iterators and generators you need to learn exceptional handling and import libraries guys i'm telling you don't over complicate yourself just go on following this particular uh, whatever topics i have actually written and learn in that particular way that will be more than sufficient 
to get started as a data analyst and data scientist. I think if you learn this much, you'll really be very good at data analyst part. With respect to data scientists, you really need to learn some more libraries, which I'm actually going to show you. Okay, so this is with respect to part two. Here you have to devote only three days. Okay, now coming to the part three, this is the most important. Till here, I've actually told you to practice in Jupyter Notebook. So this Jupyter Notebook, I've told you to practice. Now, as you go with respect to part three, start working in IDs, which is your favorite ID. It may be PyCharm, it may be Spider, but my favorite ID right now is VS Code. So start working with VS Code ID. There you need to learn how to create classes, objects, methods, inheritance, polymorphism, data abstraction, encapsulation. Why I have given four days, understand guys, because you really need to practice a lot. That is the reason why I've given four days. And if you practice all these particular concepts properly, trust me, when you're implementing an end-to-end -end project with respect to data science, it will become very, very much easy. And all this kind of implementation I've actually given in my playlist also. So you don't have to worry about that, okay? So part three is all about oops. And here, please try to devote around three to four days, uh, which will actually help you to be better on all these particular concepts, okay? You really need to know this, guys, because at the end of the day, you will create an end-to-end -end data science projects, okay? And that time you will require it. Now coming to the part four. So this was the part three, part two, part one I've already discussed. Now the part four is that you really need to learn all these libraries which I have written over here to learn the advanced data structures which are most basically used for any kind of analysis that you do in uh, Python in data science itself. So you have NumPy. NumPy basically means you are just playing with arrays. You have pandas, you have matplotlib, you have seaborn, you have skypy, and then you focus on performing EDA. EDA basically means exploratory data analysis. You know, the upcoming steps are called as feature engineering, feature selection, but EDA really needs to be very, very strong. And for those kind of videos, everything I'll be adding it in my Python playlist so that you can follow in that specific way. So I'll talk about NumPy. NumPy are very much important because here you'll be able to play with arrays, pandas obviously it's an amazing thing amazing library which will like help you to read different different kind of data sets like excel csv uh json format table format it can be any kind of format and you can do a lot of analysis over here then you have matplotlib for visualization purpose seaborn skypy see matplotlib and seaborn will be more than sufficient for doing most of the visualization things i have not in built in in depth written all the libraries that are required but the most important libraries that will help that can help you get started with data science then skype is also there and then focus on performing eda eda you really need to perform you need to go and take up complex data and you should start visualizing it analyzing it and taking out more and more observations from that that is the most important so this is the final part with respect to learning this now this will definitely get you started with python guys the path towards specialization, this I've actually kept it as my separate part. Uh, probably this is not that compulsory initially. This you can learn after you learn uh, machine learning or, or deep learning. So here is basically the frameworks for web developments. Here you can spend two days either for Flask and Zango. I'll suggest see, go with Flask only. Zango will take definitely some amount of time. It will probably take five days, but to get started with Flask, it will be more than sufficient for two days. Here you can create amazing web development, amazing APIs, and I've also created an entire playlist on Flask on that, right? You can definitely have a look onto that. So this is the framework where you really need to spend two days specifically for Flask, okay? So coming to the next one, that is playlist to fo follow from my channel. One is complete Python playlist and Flask. This two playlist has all the videos, whatever I've actually discussed in this. And probably guys, if I'm telling you, right, if you follow that morning to evening pattern, you have all the materials in front of you. You have all the practice materials in front of you. Just follow this. You will be able to learn it quickly. Okay. The final points to remember guys, focus on your end goal. Okay. If you are focused, if you're, if you're focused, trust me, this 12 days, instead of 12 days, you'll be able to complete in nine days. Keep some time frame in your mind. Don't procrastinate this time frame, you know. Okay, today I'll not study. Okay, let's let's postpone it for another two days. No. Okay. Learn every day. Continuous learning is required. And at the end of the day, do not hesitate to search in Google. Google is your friend, guys. Any queries, just go to him. Okay. Now I'll just go you. Uh, this these are the final points to remember. Now that my in my next step, I'll show you all the playlists that you should definitely refer. 
and this will definitely help you to complete your python within 12 days okay so this is the plan that i have created for you so yes let's go through the playlist guys here is the entire python playlist so here you can see all the points that whatever i have actually written in the ppt I've actually kept up all the topics like that uh, along with your EDA exploratory data analysis and some amount of feature engineering. So definitely if you are able to do this, I think within 12 days, all the materials are here. I've also given a lot of practice materials over here. And once you are very comfortable with this, you can also go ahead and learn Flask. This will probably take another two days for you to learn, right? So you can definitely refer all these particular materials, guys. Again, remember why people take more time because they may not have a proper plan structure in your mind. Uh, in their mind, they don't have a, pra a proper plan structure to what to learn, how to learn from where should they take the materials and all. I've created all these things. Please make sure that you utilize this and complete your learning as soon as possible. Okay, so I hope you like this. And remember guys, once you learn, practicing is the most important thing. You really need to practice more and more, right? And by that way, you'll become more and more perfect. So this was it from my side, guys. I hope you like this particular video. Please do make sure that you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you, one doll.